today is January the 5th, 2014, and I've been asked a number of questions about this, uh, this breakout box or connection box or whatever you want to call it, and I want, I want to show you something that I hope will help you. Um, every This is a BNC box with it that has anywhere on it except these Two connections right here which are unique and I'll show you why they're unique is you put a signal into it and then you distribute it to um, all of the equipment I distribute it to my uh, counter spectrum analyzer oscilloscope distortion analyzer voltmeter etc watt meter well this is the input so well this is going to be driving either the uh, the breakout box over here or this is going to be driving the equipment that's being tested and then the output of the equipment being tested will come back to here but there are two unique um, outputs on this box and I'll show you what they are it's these right here that are that are labeled uh, one meg series now the, what this is is there's a bus if you want to call it back here connecting these five and these three together and then these two are connected to this bus through one mega ohm resistors and the reason for that is, is that so I don't uh, exceed the uh, maximum voltage see it says maximum input voltage 42 volts peak and 13.8 volts peak etc so what I've done, and this was actually pointed out to me by some YouTube viewers, uh, that I don't want to exceed that. So, and that in many cases I actually was, I'm liable to destroy my equipment. So anyway, so what I did is I put that one mega ohm resistor in series with it, and since the input of this device is one mega ohm, as it states right there. I have a two to one voltage divider. Now in a case of just uh, measuring the frequency, that's okay. I can divide the, uh, the voltage by two and I still get an accurate reading. But in the case of hooking it, the output to a spectrum analyzer or to an oscilloscope, that is not true. You cannot just simply put a resistor in series with your line and attenuate it two to one without compensation and I'll show you exactly why look at this one this one is this is soul scope is connected directly to the um, to the output of the amplifier this amplifier right here I'm driving this amplifier at uh, 48 watts 1.6 percent distortion 19.7 volts and there it is it's just barely clipping okay on this oscilloscope it's barely clipping too so we would expect them to be the same and this is the uh, spectral display now if I move the output of the uh, spectrum analyzer which is a one-to-one -one, over to one of these attenuated outputs look what I get see I get a very different display so you cannot just arbitrarily put a resistor in series uh, with your line to attenuate the signal without having serious consequences this is on log scale so you should you should see very little difference there it is attenuated let me move it back I'm gonna move it back from there to here and watch what, what we get. So we get that. Okay. One other example of it is the oscilloscope. See that display right there? Well, if we follow this wire back, it goes to right here, and I'm going to move it from here over to here so it's attenuated and watch what happens. There it is and you can see that it's squaring off it's clipping just a little bit just like the other one 
but watch when I move it back to an attenuated output. Well, first of all, it is attenuated, but if I amplify it up, see, I, I don't see that clipping anymore. So I've altered the, uh, the signal, and now I do not have a true representation of, of the uh, signal that I'm looking at, the raw signal from uh, this amplifier. So what I'm seeing here is, is not true anymore. Uh, it's obviously not true because of the amplitude, but it's, it's also not true because of the shape. So the display is inaccurate. This is a false display. As the, I, I see no clipping. This is an accurate display. As it is clipping. Okay, let me see if I can accentuate this. I'm going to make it clip actually quite hard. Very, very hard clipping. Now, I see a little bit of distortion right there. I do some I do see some distortion coming in but it's still not clipping so this display is not accurate this one is now if I move it back to a one-to-one -one over here and then I'm gonna to have to attenuate it a bit of course now I see the same thing so you cannot just arbitrarily put a resistor in series with your line to attenuate it and expect to get an accurate signal but in the case of this particular instrument right here, where all I want is a frequency count, I can. So if you decide to attenuate your signal with a resistor, uh, be very careful what you're putting it into after the attenuation because you may be fooling yourself. So I hope this helps at, at, in respect to this breakout box because it's very valuable but you don't want to uh, build something so that uh, what you've done is uh, cause yourself to be deceived.